Welcome to Fred Olson's Borealis. Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome to Travel Blog Jamie. Today I am going to show you around a balcony suite on board Fred Olson's Borealis. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing this, it's because it's sunny out, it's warm out. You can judge me all you want. I'm giving you side eye as well. Anyway, let's go explore this cabin. Before that, please do give this video a cheeky little like, subscribe and turn on notifications for my bi-weekly travel and cruise vlogs. There are 702 cabins on Borealis, 120 of which are balcony suites located on Highland Deck, that's Deck 6. Of note, there are a range of accessible cabins on board, including balcony junior suites on Deck 6. Today, we are going to explore my balcony suite 6136. This cabin is located port side and mid forward. With good square footage, you can expect a spacious cabin. Alrighty, so this balcony suite is mid forward. It's cabin 6136 and you are cordially invited to see what this is all about. Let's see if I can actually get in. Normally I put the card in the wrong way. Hurrah, let's go take a look. Right, so as you come in, you've got the bathroom to the left. We've got storage space to the right. We will have a look at that a little bit later. I'm actually occupying this cabin as a solo passenger. So the bed uh, configuration might look a bit odd to you, uh, but now you understand why, okay? So as you come in on the left-hand side, you of course have your bed. There are two twins uh, which have been put together Perhaps um, the staff thought there were two of me. Uh, love the mirrors on the back wall. Gives a real sense of space and light in here. You'll notice up on the walls, we've got four hooks to hang all your odds and sods, bits and bobs, nick and nap, brick and brack. Uh, we've got air con, and yes, I'm down to Arctic conditions. As you know, I love a bit of coolness in my cabin. Alrighty, bed situation then. Uh, very comfy, by the way. I had a great night's sleep. We have uh, two units either side down here. We have got two drawers, and they are good sizes, as you can see. Very important to note, there is indeed space for your luggage under the bed should you not want to take up all of your storage space in those cupboards. And the other side of the bed, we have another unit with two drawers. Oh, look, God love my Fred Olsen slippers. Um, oh, you don't need to see what's in there, do you? Um, so good size again, nibbles. I can't do without my nibbles. Thank you very much. So a good space and plenty of room at the end of the bed, okay? You're not gonna get squished between the bed and the wall in this cabin. All right, so down here we have our lounge area uh, and also this sofa does turn into a bed. So this cabin actually sleeps three people, should you wish it to. For me, this is a very, very comfortable space indeed. We've got a television over here and it is indeed maneuverable. So if you wanna watch that from your couch, be my guest. However, from the bed is also gonna work for you. Above the television, we've got some shelves. This is where we've got glasses. You've got binoculars, an atlas, uh, water bottles as well. I'm gonna to talk to you about the Sweet Dreams package and what's included when you get a balcony suite shortly. Down here, look at all these drawers. Three, six, there are nine drawers down here, folks. I'm not gonna open everyone individually, but take my word for it, plenty of storage space down in the lounge area. You've also got another very large mirror um, and again it creates more space more light uh, and also you can check yourself out as much as you want all right mm, 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 mm. this is where you'll also find uh, your mini bar forms should you wish to purchase anything I'll show you what is in that fridge shortly love the fact that every day you get a fresh carafe of water uh, ask for ice from your cabin steward or stewardess should you wish uh, we've got two USB ports here there's also a UK and uh, a European socket over here. So if you have US plugs, etc., bring an adapter. Essentially a really good vanity area, lots of space there. You could do some work should you wish. Uh, we've got a table here. I've got all sorts of goodies there, which I'll show you later. And opposite, this is where you have the mini bar. Let's have a peep inside, shall we? Love a peep, don't we folks? Let's be honest. All right, so. This is a, a well-stocked mini bar. Yes, you do need to pay for the contents. Shall we have a quick peep at the menu? I think we should. Alrighty, here is the mini bar form with the range of drinks on offer and those prices. What do you think? 
Now then, if you are utilizing your minibar, your cabin stewardess will complete the form, leave it for you to sign each day, and also your minibar will be restocked every day by 2 p.m. on the nose. Oh my goodness, and let's not forget that this lamp actually has a USB port at the bottom. Thank you very much for that. So I've just come back to the cabin to this. Wowzers. Well, first of all, uh, a note from Chloe, Ellis, Georgina, and all at the Fred Olsen team. Thank you so much. It's amazing to be back on board, by the way. Thank you. Uh, we've got some bubbles. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, we've got some fruit. And here's the canopy. Now then, there are many perks about having a balcony suite. One of which, of course, is having um, oh, a balcony. Let's go have a look. Very important to note how far the loungers recline. Uh, not bad, eh? And seriously, nothing better than the sound of those ocean waves. Also, I had my breakfast out here this morning. Shall we have a quick peep? So what you need to do is take your gorgeous Fred Olsen Cruise Lines pen, like so, and then apply ink to uh, appropriate boxes. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna have? Happy travel blog, Jamie. Mwah. Let's get you outside, my darling. There you go. There you go, my beauty. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely, anywhere. Thank you so much. And that's the way to do it. Oh, these pastries are warm. They smell delicious. Alrighty folks, let's have a look at that bathroom before we talk about some of the perks of having this kind of cabin. I think it's a good space actually. Alrighty, in we go. First thing you'll notice, good size shower. You can get three people in there. I haven't tried, but if you'd like to, uh, you can apply by writing your comments below. What's interesting about this shower is you have a glass panel, but you also got your clingy curtains uh, just to stop the water from coming out on this side. So you've got the best of both worlds, seriously. In case you don't believe me about getting three people in here, you might even get three and a half. All right, this is a good hot, it's very hot by the way, powerful shower. Uh, you're gonna enjoy this very much. And also we do have some products in here. We've got Cole and Lewis. Lemongrass and Bergamo shampoo and body wash. They are delicious. In fact, I started slurping them. This is my own one, not included with this cabin by the way. Let's have a quick pan around. I think we can all agree this is a decent size for a bathroom. Uh, it's obviously very traditional, um, but perfectly acceptable, very clean, which is the most important thing for me. You've got plenty of towels here as well. Um, yes, there's a toilet. You put one cheek, two cheeks, rah, rah, rah. And can I just say, uh, I'm not in the habit of showing you toilet paper, but look how cool that is. Yeah, we are sailing. All right, and sink basin, a couple shelves for all your amenities, beautiful mirror, check yourself out as much as you want in here. Oh, and it would be remiss of me to not mention up here, look, 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 look what we got. Yep, for your shavers or your electric toothbrush. And you might think, well, it's just gonna hang there, but actually there's a shelf right here. Thank you, Jesus. And two more Colin Lewis London products, uh, hand wash, hand and body lotion. Again, absolutely delicious. Well, you know what I mean, they smell good. I still wanna eat them. Let's not forget that below the sink there is another shelf, you've got a bin here, and also there is a bath mat in case you are of the slippy variety, or clumsy. And four hooks on the door. Let's have a look at the storage space just opposite. Now from this angle, it doesn't look like there's a huge amount of storage space, but actually it's like a TARDIS. So first of all, um, the cupboard to the left, uh, we've got a life jacket, uh, you've got your safe, uh, a good amount of hanging space, and also you've got these clips here if you wanna, I don't know, hang your, your smalls, belts, ties, I've got my drawstring bag there, and of course space for either luggage, bags, shoes, whatever you'd like. The middle section is actually um, surprisingly big, 
At the top, you've got two shelves. This is what I love about the Olsen Way look. Beautiful blankets if you want to take them out on the balcony. A blanket here probably better uh, used for your couch or perhaps on your bed. We've got a good amount of hanging space. If you're staying in a suite or a balcony suite, you're going to get robes included. Uh, you've got pool towels here. We've got two umbrellas, um, Fred Olsen slippers, and down here, your shoe shine uh, basket. And that's exactly how you're going to access that facility. And yet another mirror, almost floor to ceiling actually, on the back of uh, this wardrobe door. Fantastic. But halt, we are not done yet, folks, no? Another cupboard at the very end. Extra pillow up there, more hanging space, another pillow. Oh, we got tea and coffee facilities. Thank you, everybody. A little peep in our box of magic. There you go. That's great, isn't it? And down below, more pillows and more life jackets. You can never have too many of those. Alrighty, let's check out some of the perks that come with a balcony suite. Feast your eyes on the Sweet Dreams package and the perks you'll get of staying in a cabin like this or a higher grade. So apart from your sparkling wine, carafe of water replenished daily, fruit basket, you do get an afternoon canapé service, which I experienced yesterday. Let's rewind and have a look at that. Here's the canapés, the shrimp cocktail of olive oil, turkey with brie and cranberry on pumpernickel, mmm, courgette roll with herb cream cheese and walnut on pumpernickel. Wow. It even tells you when it was delivered to your cabin look. So I suppose you know that it is fresh. Fabulous. So some great perks there. I haven't quite got through my champagne or fruit yet. Uh, I'm going to attack those later today. I know, I know. Is there a hairdryer? Will I test it? I will, just for you. Oh, the things I do for you all. Two settings only. Ready? Setting number one. A little puff. Two. Not the biggest of hair dryers I've ever seen or used, not the most powerful, not the hottest, uh, but I'm sure some of you would appreciate it nonetheless. And I'm not going to be airlifted to A&E because I haven't scolded myself. So thank you, Fred Olsen. Increasingly so, other cruise lines are not engaging with the evening turndown service. Oh, but not Fred Olsen. When I stumbled my way back to my cabin last night, um, after a few drinks, this is what it looked like. Jamie Robbins is back. Got it right this time. Oh, I've just realized, turn down. Don't get that on some cruise lines anymore, but you know, what's a turn down look like on, oh, look. Oh, bless. They put me comfies out nice and tidy, look. And looks like we have the Daily Times and a little chocolate. I mean, gorgeous. Thank you so much. And it would be remiss of me to not share this information with you. There is a laundry room open 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. on deck two, port side towards the aft. Let's have a quick peep at this. Ooh, wall art and color. Oh, I love that. Right, this is actually quite a good size. Uh, it should be though, because I think it's the only main laundrette on board. So as you can see, we have ironing boards, irons, and look at all these washer dryers, folks. Gosh, oh, and another three ironing boards, irons. Oh my goodness me, I'm in laundrette heaven. But fear not folks, if you're not into your laundrettes and you want someone to do your laundry for you, you have this hanging up in your wardrobe. Uh, they offer a standard service, so therefore items received before noon are returned the next day. And also there's a same day service, uh, but you are gonna be charged a 50% surcharge. Anyway, here's a little peep at some of those prices. Now then, I completely lucked out with this cabin. Originally, I had booked an Ocean View cabin uh, for this two night repositioning cruise from Southampton to Liverpool. It is not full at all since it is a repositioning cruise. So uh, I was given a complimentary upgrade. Uh, so thank you, Fred Olsen, very much for that. I've not stayed in one of these cabins on board before. Would I stay in one again? Hell yes, absolutely beautiful. I'm a fan. But are you a fan? Drop your comments below. Is this a cabin you can imagine yourself staying in? For now, thanks for watching and don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.